In this video, we're gonna be converting an analog diatone Taycan, this will apply to any analog FPV drone, to a digital FPV drone. So this is my buddy's drone. He bit the bullet and got the DJI system. And with the goggles, he also purchased a Polar Vista kit. We're gonna be installing this on this diatone Taycan. So first thing I'm gonna do is take apart the drone. All right, so underneath we have the camera, we have a little beeper and some LED controls. Uh, we have the flight controller ESC stack, and then back here is the VTX. So we're gonna be changing out the VTX. So I wanna remove this, and to make that a little bit easier, I am gonna take these ducts off. All right, so I have the ducts off of the uh, Taycan. It's a little bit of a process to get those ducts off. You do have to take up the flight controller so that you can get the LED lights out because those all go up here and those kind of keep it so that the ducts don't want to fully go away from the drone. But either way, you want to take apart the drone to the extent where you can access the VTX and the flight controller. So we have a couple more things back here that I'm just going to pull out and get out of our way. So this wire right here is a wire that goes directly to the VTX. I'm not sure of the pinout on this, but basically for any Caddx Vista, uh, you wanna power this directly from the battery. So if this is a five volt pad, we're gonna have to find another source to power our uh, Caddx Vista. Now I'm just gonna disconnect the uh, VTX. I'll get this loose so that I can disconnect this and then we're gonna see, I'm gonna look up online what the pinout is for this board to see what these pads are exactly. All right, so this wire that we have right here, this is the one that was powering the VTX. This is a five volt pad, so I'm not gonna be able to use these pads for the Caddx Vista since that requires nine volts. There is a little connector down here though that does supply nine volts. This is actually the connector that is supposed to go to a Caddx Vista. If you have a uh, diatone Taycan that has this board on it, this will most likely have a cable on it that goes to the Caddx Vista. So since this is a six pin cable, I'm assuming that the Caddx Vista we have uh, actually came with one of these cables. If not, I'm sure I have one laying around. So let's open up the Caddx Vista and see what we have inside. just like every other Caddx. So here's the camera. So I'm hoping that in this bag we have a wire that will fit the flight control that we have. Bunch of extra screws. Those are for the camera. And here we have our cable for the Vista. Sick. All right, I'm going to take this out and we're going to get this soldered up to the Vista. So when installing a Vista, if you're gonna be using the DJI remote, you're gonna to wanna to keep all the all six wires on here. I'm not using the DJI remote, I'm using a QX7. So I removed these last two wires over here. Basically, if you're only using this for video, you're gonna just want the red, black, white, and yellow wires. All right, so now we're gonna connect the wire. So obviously you're gonna have voltage right here. We're gonna have ground right next to it, and then right next to that you have RX, and right next to that you have TX. These two over here are the ones that you use if you're using the DJI controller. Depending on what flight controller you have, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you hook 
the TX pad on the Vista up to the RX pad on the flight controller, and then the RX pad on the Vista up to the TX pad on the flight controller. So on mine, I know that the white wire that's right next to the ground wire is actually on the flight controller going to TX2. So I'm gonna wanna wire this to RX on the Vista. So I'm gonna get this wired up now. So that's literally all the soldering that we got to do. So now that we have that hooked up, I'm going to bring the drone back and we're going to see how this is going to sit. Since I'm not using this anymore, I'm actually going to desolder the wires from the board. Now let's take the camera out. All right, so there's our camera. And now I'm also going to unsolder these wires right here. So now with the camera and the VTX and the antenna completely out of the drone, we're pretty much ready to install our Vista. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the camera out of here and I'm gonna install the Vista camera. All right, got the camera all mounted in. So now let's just see how this is going to fit back here. Some of the LED lights actually run underneath the flight controller. So to make this nice and clean, I'm gonna run the wires underneath the flight controller as well. Gonna mount the camera where that's supposed to go. So I ended up running the wire that goes from the Vista to the camera underneath the ESC. I just kind of lifted it up and ran underneath. And now all I'm going to do is while the ducts are off and all the props are off and everything, it just makes it easier to work on. I'm going to actually hook this up to the flight controller, plug a battery in, and I'm going to have to connect the Vista to my computer so that I can make sure that it's updated and will be working okay because once I get the ducts on here I won't be able to plug anything into that so I'm gonna go ahead and get this sitting back on the stack make sure everything's plugged in and I'll plug in the Caddx and we'll give it some power I'm gonna find some screws to just secure this down. Got the Vista nice and snug. Plug the antenna in. Make sure you always have an antenna plugged in when you're plugging a battery into this. If you plug a battery into this and you don't have an antenna on, you can burn out your uh, Vista. So you don't wanna do that. All right, so I have everything ready to go. We got the flight controller plugged in, we got the uh, Caddx Vista with the wire going underneath the ESC to the camera. We have the cable coming out of the Vista into the flight controller and we have the antenna on. So I'm gonna plug a battery into this and just make sure everything's cool and then we'll plug it into a computer. Perfect. Let's hop over to a computer and plug the Vista in. All right, so I'm just gonna do this on my uh, cheap laptop that I keep in my backpack, mainly for beta flight tuning uh, on the go. So basically what you wanna do is plug the drone in via the Caddx Vista. So plug this in. Good. We're gonna go open up DJI Assistant. All right, so once we have DJI Assistant on, make sure that everything's plugged in. Make sure that you uh, plug a battery into your drone, otherwise it won't recognize it. There we 
we go. So now we'll go up to DJI FPV Air Unit Light. And now we'll just start activation. And basically all this is gonna do is download an update and install it. Now we'll start activation. And basically what this is gonna do is download an update and install it directly to the Cadex Vista. Activation success. And now all you gotta do is just install the latest update. <clears throat> Confirm. And this is just telling you what is in the update. And now it'll just download and install. So just let it do its thing. All right, so once the update's complete, this is what your screen will look like. And you'll basically be all set in this program. So we can close this. So since the ducks actually block the button to bind to the uh, goggles, I'm actually gonna do that right now and just make sure everything's all set. And then we'll get to putting this all back together. And I'll show you how to map it in Betaflight. So what you wanna do is have your goggles on and ready to go. You're gonna plug the battery in. And on the side of your Vista, you'll see a little red light or a green light. And what you wanna do is just click this button right here. It'll turn red. And then on your goggles, you're going to, right underneath the power cable, there's actually a little tiny red button. So you wanna click that with something really small. And that sound means that it's all bound up. So now we should have image in here and looks like we do. Sick. It's now it's literally just kind of putting the drone back together. And that's pretty much it. The only step left, and this isn't completely necessary, you could take this, plug in a battery and go fly it right now. Um, but if you wanna see on-screen display text, like flight statistics, like uh, battery life, or RSSI, or GPS coordinates, or anything like that through Betaflight, we have to go into Betaflight and actually change some settings around. So let's plug this into Betaflight, and I'll show you what to change. All right, so first step, let's launch Betaflight. plug this drone in, it's a little difficult. So I have this little uh, right angle USB thing. All right, so once it's in here, I'm gonna go under ports. And this was the port that was using the uh, video transmitter. So this was for smart audio. We're not using that anymore. So we're gonna do it disabled. And we're actually using UR2 for the Vista unit. So you're gonna check configuration slash MSP and hit save reboot. Now we can go under OSD and we can change everything that's on here. So typically I like to keep everything all over on the left hand side. So this obviously isn't gonna matter anymore because we're not using the VTX channel. Warnings don't show up. DJI goggles have their own built-in warnings. So I'll keep mine to just be right like that. And let's save. And disconnect. And that's it. And that's how you turn an analog FPV drone into digital. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you leave a comment, like, Subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of videos like this and thanks for watching